Welcome back to Mystery Mayhem. Mystery Masochist? Wait, Mystery... we had a name for this? I, I don't know. Guys, t give us a name for this segment because we obviously don't know. But this is the series where we open up these random mystery power cubes or boxes or whatever we can really find at Walmart or Target. And we open them up, we make decks, and we have a duel. This is the second episode. Uh, Alex was the winner of our first episode. Yes. And we are going to continue upgrading those decks from the first episode with cards from our new power cubes. Ooh. And maybe we'll pull a Dragoon, maybe we'll pull a Stardust, you know? So if you like this kind of content, go ahead and give us a like, comment. Uh, what was your best pull from a mystery product, if ever, I hopefully not. And let's get to the opening. So. In this power cube, we are going to have five rare cards and 35 common cards. And there may be randomly inserted chase cards like Red Eyes Dark Dragoon that I'm not sure any of us can play. And Stardust Dragon, which someone actually might play. All right, no packs, just raw cards. Unexpected die, it's a good little uh, special summoner. Drytron Meteor Shower. Herald of Ultimateness, if I could make it, that'd be cool, I guess. The Wicked Avatar, this is a meme more than a card, but maybe they'll see play, who knows. Uh, ooh, Ignista Promise, the Blasting Draco Slayer. I mean, this is actually a, well, fairly generic. It does require a Pendulum Non-Tuner, but that's not impossible. S-Force Dog Tag. I actually don't know what S4s do, but I see five stars at 1600. I'm not happy, not at all. Uh, DDD, Super Psych King Zero Maxwell. That's a mouthful, but I do Pendulum Summon. So, you know, I'll, I'll find a way to make use of this. I like this. Uh, Black Terra, that is a very old kind of useless card. Uh, War Rock Big Blow. I wouldn't mind playing War Rock here if we got more. Oh, speaking of the devil, War Rock Mahmood. It's a five star, so I'm not very happy with that. But if we get the smaller ones, that'd be cool. Shirinui Sword Master. We'll we need more Shiranui. Yikes! Chusuke the Mouse Fighter. This card has no purpose. I don't even know. Okay. Uh, Paleozoic Leancolia. I don't even know what this one does. Yeah, okay, returns banished cards to your graveyard. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, there's Paleozoic Morelia. It will send a trap to the graveyard, but I need more Paleo to make use of that. Metaverse gets my field spell. Seven Tools of the Bandit is a very solid generic trap card. I like that. Illusionist Faceless Mage. Uh, it's not an illusion. It's a spellcaster. I, I, I can technically upgrade my deck with these. That's all I can really say. <laughs> First, we have Everlasting Alloy, a Genzo support card. I don't think I even got a Genzo, so this won't do anything. Toon Gemini Elf. Wow. Okay. Um, number 68, Sanafon, the Sky Prison. It takes two level eight monsters. I'm not sure how easy it'll be for me to make, but I can technically make it, I think. Ice Jade Acti. Um, I can send one water monster to special. Oh, yeah, I can send one mo water monster from my hand to the GY and draw a card. That's not bad. I played Ice Jades. I generally know what I need for this card to be useful, which means I just need water stuff. And I'm not sure how much that I've got. Oh my god. So also Ice Jade Tanola. Well, there could be something there. I don't know. Uh, ooh, generic pendulum monster. Fire Opal Head, 2,500 attack for a single um, tribute monster, and is a zero scale. Yes, yes please. Top Share, reveal one card from your deck and place it on top of your deck. Then your opponent reveals one card from their deck and places it on top of their deck. Well, I can't see anything going wrong with that. I'll keep that in for sure. Oh, I'm definitely playing it. Like, I like these kind of cards for this kind of format. Oh, we got some vanillas here. King of Yami Makai, 2K level um, level five. We can talk. We can talk. I can't read this, but I know what this is. And uh, you're going in the deck. <laughs> and then, oh my God, Dragao Alado Guardiao da Fortaleza number one. I will not be playing this. Metaphos counter. I don't have Metaphos cards. Moving on. Predaponix. I have one Preda plant. I just don't see it happening, but hey, we'll see. One or eight. Yeah, this sounds fun. I, I, I think like random chance effects are pretty neat. Necroquip Prism. I don't know what this is, and I don't feel like reading it, but it might be in the deck. We'll, I'll take a look at it later. Pyrath, the Ghost Pirates. Water support. I mean, my SJ cards were asking for water cards, but definitely not with Golden Hair, the newest Plunder Patrol. Ugh. But there's almost something there. Codebreaker Virus Berserker. Um, I did ask for a more Link Monsters. I don't know if this is the one for me, but maybe? All right. Well, um, I'm gonna try some things and you'll tell me how it works out, guys. So we have to go to 40 card decks this time, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
I'm not looking forward to that. Let's see, so I'm gonna lean into my pendulum stuff because that seems to be the only things that work. Mm -hmm. I can't run Plunder Patrol cards. That just make any, doesn't make any sense. There's no way that's gonna work. And I don't have Water Exes monsters, so none of these are gonna work. I can finally read Knock the Vision Dragon, I guess. I'm gonna activate the card if I can target the face down card. Maybe I'll try and run this Valence guy. So last time, I can't really say I had a strategy. I put every Pendulum monster I had in and any cards that had other cards that were related. I mean, Pendulums worked out for me, but that was kind of a lucky thing. I think if anything, I really wanted these uh, runic cards to get online last episode. I, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna play more pendulum monsters. I think that'll, that'll be the thing. More pendulums and maybe some bigger stat monsters in general. So last game, I had, I found some really neat synergies in my deck that I wanted to exploit. But the cards I'm finding now, I want to keep up those synergies and perhaps introduce new ones that weren't there before. For instance, I think I can make better use of Cybers monsters now with the new cards I found. So I want to add more of those and see what I can do with them. Like these three cards are not bad at all on their own. So they'll just be good to have in the deck, which means the Cybers cards I was already running can actually make use of the fact that there are now just more Cyberses in the deck. But there's also other synergies I found. I'm looking forward to making good use of like Dark Magic Attack. I actually have a card that counts as Dark Magician sometimes. So like, yes, please. So Alex, what was your strategy for choosing new cards to add to your deck and removing cards? Oh, it's just what I said before. It's just, um, I'm looking for enhancing the synergies my deck already has access to. And I want to make sure that the ratios I have in mind for the deck also are still preserved. I can't risk not being able to get into monsters when I need them. And I can't risk not being able to get into spells and traps when I need them. It's gonna be a slow paced game no matter what, but I do believe I've chosen things that are generic enough though where they're gonna find flexible use no matter what. Hopefully though, I don't end up with anything too situational in my hand. Hey Alec, is there anything you're gonna do differently in this game than last game? So last game I kinda just took it really easy. I just put, cause I knew that I had no control over my car pool. I just put whatever, whatever, and just did not put too much thought into it. Uh, now that I'm actually building off of a base, I am being more deliberate with the cards I put in and I take out. Like uh, this Senate switch was in my deck last game and there was absolutely no way I could make use of it, but I need to get the 30 cards from a main deck. So I put it in, but I'm glad I can finally take this card out the deck. And um, you know, I'm just, I'm just being more mindful about what's actually in my deck. Now going to 40 cards does present some new consistency issues. Hopefully I still made smart decisions. Wait, what if we promise to give each other something good? Fine. Gentleman's agreement. Gentleman's agreement. I'm, I'm going to give you what might be the strongest monster in my deck. What? <laughs> Place it face down. I don't want to do that, but I'll give you my my favorite card here. All right. On the end phase, we will then exchange and add them to we our shuffle, hands. Shuffle, right? Yes, definitely shuffle. Yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't we? And now, my net, for my next Chaos play, I'm going to normal summon my Abare Ushioni. Abare Ushioni. So I can activate its effect to toss a coin. If I call it right, I inflict 1,000 damage to you. Okay. If I call it wrong, I'll take 1,000 damage. And I can only use that once per turn during the main phase. So, so someone's taking damage. Someone's taking damage. All right, I'm going to call Heads. Heads, heads. you're taking 1,000. Darn it. But you actually helped me out by activating the card in my hand. What, what's the trigger? So during my opponent's turn, when either player takes battle damage. Okay. Yeah, moving on. All right, I'll move to end phase, and now we exchange. Get up to our hands, right? Yep. Alec! <laughs> oh, what? Wow, it's this guy. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I guess it's my turn. Yes, sir. My draw. But see, I didn't lie. You didn't lie. You didn't, you didn't tell me you liked this card at first. Guys, he, he gave me the Wicked Avatar. I'm gonna miss him. I'm gonna it? miss the Avatar. <laughs> All right, let's go to main phase. Let me also do you a favor. Don't stop this from happening. I'll use margin trading. Uh... Your opponent can discard one card to negate this effect. Otherwise, both players look at their opponent's deck and choose one card, then add the card from their own deck chosen by their opponent to their hand. So we're choosing what the other one's gonna add to their hand. From the, yes, by looking at their deck. Okay, this is a really weird collaborative game. I used to think I can easily normal summon or like special summon on like, this turn. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> is there anything you need? I don't know. <laughs> a pendulum? 
pendulum, huh? Well, if you do me that favor, I'll make sure you get a pendulum. All right. What did we add to each other's hands? You gave me Amazonas Golden Whipmaster. And you gave me Rock Band Xeno Guitar. I'll activate my Dark Magic Circle. Oh. I can look at the top three cards of my deck. Then I can reveal one Dark Magician or one Spell and Trap card that lists it and add it to my hand. I also place the remaining cards on the top in any order. If DM is yeah. normal special summons to the field, I can target one card my opponent card controls and banish it. I will reveal my dark magic attack and add this to my hand. I cannot believe he had one. Right? <laughs> I cannot believe he had one. Am I gonna get dark magic? Wait, I have no spell and traps. Never mind, there's nothing to worry about. Look, man, I'm trying my best here. I'm gonna have to end my turn. All right, then. I'll draw for turn. I'm going to activate Abare Ushioni's effect. Well, what's the chances you're gonna, you're gonna call it right again? All right, I'm going to call heads. Mm -hmm. Yes! Dang it. We're gonna burn you for another thousand. Oh, we up now. We up now. And next, let's tribute the Abare Ushioni. Huh? for Yosenju Magat. Oh, not this again. So when he's normal summon, I can special summon one Yosenju monster from my deck, except Magat himself. I am being cooked, guys. We'll get Yosenju comma two. All right, so I have an 1800 and a 2000 on board. Oh, okay. And I will move to battle. Comma two attacks for 1800. Oh, and mm -mm -mm. I'm going to activate the effect of then my mm -mm -mm. Mahama, the fairy dragon. During my opponent's turn, when either player takes battle damage, I can special summon this card from my hand, then apply one of these effects. I'll special summon my Mahama, the Fairy Dragon. Now, I can either gain those life points back that you took from me, or inflict them to you. Wow. But so I'll just go ahead and take those life points back now. All right, so you're gonna gain 1,800? You might notice my Fairy Dragon's defense is higher than your Yosenji Magat's attack It points. actually is, that, that is a pain. All right, I'll just have to end my turn there and my Yosenji will return to my hand. My turn, my draw. Oh wait, I'm at maximum hand size, I gotta drop something. I'll discard my Wing Karibo, <laughs> who's in here because it's a Wing Karibo, not because it's good. That's fair. Next. I'll normal summon, flip frozen, in attack mode. Uh, that's 500 attack. It's more than what you've got right now. And we're going to enter the battle phase. Flip frozen, attack him directly for 500 points. Yeah, that's, uh, I'll just take that. Beware, if my flip frozen leaves the battlefield, all attack and monsters go to defense mode. Okay. I'll set one card face down and end my turn. Then I'll draw. Let's normal summon your Senju comma two. That was your, okay, that's an interesting choice. I'll go to battle. The Senju comma Chain. two. Oh, okay. To so going the battle phase. Before I go into battle, yep. what you got? I activate my Cynet Crosswipe. I contribute one Cybers monster and target one monster on the field and destroy it. Say goodbye to comma two. Oh, okay. All right, we're using interest. All right, you got me on that one. All no right. more free damage for you. Definitely no, no free damage for me. I'll, I'll set a card <laughs> face down and I'll end my turn. Nice. Draw for turn. Uh, before you can make any plays, standby phase, I'll activate. No. Nope. Never mind. I forgot this actually hurt. This would, this would ruin me. <laughs> Why did I put this in my deck? I gotta push my advantage while I've still got it, I guess. Advantage? I mean, you have a monster with zero attack on field. And I'm still not putting anything out. I set a card to ending my turn. Fair enough. Draw for turn. You know what, let's take a risk. Oh. I'm going to normal summon the Marmoting Captain. What in the world? So on normal summon, I can shuffle one card from my hand into the deck and then draw. If that if I draw a monster, I can special summon it. You should use my card. Shuffle that into <laughs> Shuffle it. your card into my deck. I think, what would be the rules for that? I don't think they, well, actually, Do it have to go into can, my deck? Can, I think that can happen. happen. So you know what? All right, so we know it's not it on is. top. I see where it is in there, too. <laughs> yes, we both see where it is. <laughs> Draw. It is a monster. I got the ZW, the oh. SZW Fenrir Sword. So it gets special summoned. Oh, oh he works. 1800. He has a normal summon effect, so he doesn't really do anything. Not bad, Alec. Yeah, 1800 attack. So hey, that worked out for me. Uh, we still can't get through my Mahama. SZW, attack his face down. <laughs> 
You fell for it. It's my rock band Zeno guitar with 2,000 defense. defense. You lose 200 life points. I didn't fall for anything. There was no like, you just set a monster. Okay, look, Alec. I will pass there. You can learn to be nice or not at all. Drop for turn. You know, if you can get another monster on board, you'll be able to use my monster. I would love that, Alec. You have no <laughs> idea how much I would love that right now. Sadly though, all I can do is, um, oh my God, this is, this is not what I thought it was. Hey, playing defensively, you're slowly eating up the difference. Down. I am, I definitely am. I just can't do anything else right now. So, sadly, I think I'm gonna have to, yeah, this is horrible. I'll end my turn. All right, draw for turn. Can you get through my monster's defense points? Uh, not easily, no. There's, there's no easy way to do that. All right, well, this is fortunate for me. I'm gonna tribute my Marbating Captain and my SZW oh. for DDD, Super Sight King Zero Maxwell. That looks really big. You know, you know how his head's a gun? You yeah. should feel threatened. I do feel threatened. So before damage calculation, if I attack a defense position monster, I can make its defense zero and he does piercing. Oh my God. Yeah, he, does. he has 2,800 attacks. Oh, this so, is bad. This is really bad. I'm just gonna move to battle and have my supreme, my super sight attack, let's say, Mahama. Darn it. Before damage calculation, he'll turn your attack to zero. Defense. Or defense to zero, yeah. And then you deal piercing damage for 2,800. That's yeah, right. Uh, oh, this is getting bad. I gotta make a, I gotta make a comeback and soon. I'll end my turn there. Fine, draw for turn. Let's go to main phase. No, I don't like the confidence. I use Allure of Darkness. I'll draw two cards, then banish one dark monster from oh, my hand. Oh, you're gonna banish my avatar. Or if I do not have any other monsters, but, uh, I can send this card to, uh, my hand to graveyard. So, let's see. Hmm. Just go ahead and banish the avatar. Like, we know you're gonna do it. I can't remember why I even put this in my deck. I'm going to um, banish this um, Albaz, Albion. I think all I can do here is set another card face down in defense mode. Not gonna work though. I'll end my turn there. All right, draw for turn. Let's normal summon the Dark Eye Nightmare, who works what? with traps in my grave, but I have none, so okay. he does absolutely it's nothing. just here, okay. We're going to battle. All right. So Super Sight will attack your Xeno Guitar and uses effect to turn you to zero. Yeah. And then Dear Piercing. All right, my Xeno Guitar is destroyed. Um, I don't think I can really do anything with this. Uh, I don't have any rock monsters in my grave besides Zeno Guitar, I believe. Yep, I do not. All right. And then Nightmare will attack your face now. Well, I can't say I love this situation, but you have forced my hand. What are you doing now? I don't know. We'll check. We'll just, we'll have to look at the other card. It's Quillbolt Hedgehog. It gets destroyed by battle. All oh right. God. I'll end my turn now. How about we end this with a bang? What are you gonna do? I can get a trap card. One or eight. If my life points are lower than my opponent's, I can reveal the top card of my deck. And if it's level one or eight, I can either add it to my hand or special summon it. Otherwise, my opponent can apply one of these effects below. You would either be able to have the player who activate this card have their life points become 1,000, or the opponent of the player who activated this card gains life points so their life points become 8,000. So this card doesn't make a huge difference regardless, but okay. Reveal the card, it has to be a one or an eight. It's a three. It's a three. So Dang it. I can either give you life points to make you a thousand, or I can gain life points to become about 8,000, right? Yes. Then I will gain the life points. Darn it. That just, that just makes sense to me. <laughs> You're just <laughs> in the worst position. My turn, draw. Look, Alec, look. I am fighting for my life, and you've got jokes. I've got Super Sight King Zero Maxwell. Hmm. Yeah, I love these manga named cards. Okay, um, I have one more move to show you. Bring it on. I'm going to normal summon my virtual world Hime Nyan Nyan. Yeah, yeah. But that's not what's important here. It's because be because I have a level three monster on the board, I can special summon my psychic wielder in defense mode. Okay, the three and a three. Yep, but that's not the important card because the one I really want to bring out is Perform Mage Hat Trigger. I have to have two monsters on the board or more, and I can special summon it to the board. But I'm not gonna keep it out because I want it for a synchro material. So that's seven? That's a level seven synchro monster. 
we're gonna make Rampaging Smash Tank Rhino Saber. Now, when my Psychic Wielder is used for a Synchro Summon as a Synchro Material, I can target one monster on the field with less attack than the Synchro Monster that was used for, that was made with this card, and I can destroy it. So I'll target your Dark Eye Nightmare. Okay. But I'm not quite finished yet. No, so, I don't think so my Rampaging Smash Tank Rhino Saber has a really interesting effect. Um, I can discard any number of cards, and it gains 700 for each card discarded. At the end of the battle phase, if this card battles, I can send this card to the GY as special summon monsters from my graveyard whose total levels equal seven. So you can get your materials back. But their effects will be negated. Okay. Then let's see what happens. I'll use its effect. We're gonna discard two cards. Sadly, they're my magician cards. So my, my Rhino Saber is going to gain Oh, I only need to discard one. I don't have to discard both. We're gonna discard only that one. All right. So it's going to gain 700 attack to be 3,100. Ah, so that's bigger than my super sight. Finally, and I'm gonna enter the battle phase. Rampaging smash take Rhino Saber attack! Uh, For 3,100. 31 to my 28. You'll take 300 Out of my 8,000. But you're also wide open for Nan Nan to attack you directly for 1,500. Take 1,500. I can't believe you did a synchro play on me. And next, I'm going to begin to end my battle phase, which means my um, Rhino Saber can activate. Since it battled, I can send this to the graveyard with special summon monsters whose level equals seven. We should bring some people back if possible. And their effects are negated, right? Their effects are negated, so their effects are not what matter here. We'll get my Rock Band Xeno Guitar. We'll get my Quillbolt Hedgehog. Going up to six, and we'll bring back my Flip Frozen as a one. Wow. Wow. And we'll go ahead and end my turn there. This is just disrespectful. All right. Draw for turn. Now the now shoes check on me. My extra deck. <laughs> oh, God. Why are you looking at your extra deck? Tell me why. Oh, that's not great. What's wrong? <laughs> it just doesn't really do anything. Once again, you've put up a board of defense, and now I have to figure out a way to get around it. Yes, but it's just, it just. There's monsters. I'll activate my Runic Smiting Storm. Okay. So I can activate one of its effects. I'm going to special summon a Runic Monster from my extra deck to the extra monster zone. Well, that's not great. I'll summon Frecky, the Runic Fangs. So that's 2,000 attack. When an attack is declared involving this monster in extra monster zone, I can banish the top two cards of your deck. Neither player takes any damage from attacks involving this card. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, target a Runic Quick Play spell in my graveyard added to my hand. Interesting. Say hello to Frecky. Oh, okay, all right. Well. That's freaky Frecky. Well, I don't think it's gonna do much for you here. That's true, because Frecky can't do any damage. Thank God. But would you believe me if I told you I only did this so I could tribute him? No! Tribute Frecky for your Senju Magat. No. No, Alec, no! That's right. So that's 2,000 attack, and your Nanyan only has 1,500. Oh, God, no. What I'll was I thinking? for game. Oh, I only have 500 damage, clears me. Dang it. Good game. I think I made the wrong choices, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Darn it. I was gonna summon the Wicked Avatar next. That's okay, that's okay. You didn't have to do that. Take your card back. <laughs> oh yeah, you can get yours back too. Ah, man, oh, he's in my deck. I, sadly, I had a lot of like situational cards in my hand to start the game with. And it was all the magician stuff, which, you know, in hindsight, probably should have taken that stuff out because I only have one card named Dark Magician in my entire deck. But I believed in myself and I didn't believe I would open two of them in the same um, first turn. But you did combo. I did, I did. I just wish I could have comboed better. I didn't combo at all. Uh, I just played until I could get into a big monster, and the big monster just had to play. That thing is, a, is, is quite the monster, though. So uh, Super Sight uh, was actually a huge card in Duel Links when he came to it. Just a, a bit of an offensive monstrosity. Yeah, it was a huge problem for me the whole time. I, I didn't know how to get through it easily. I had one removal card that already used it to stop your Yosenju situation. <laughs> 
But I think we can both agree the MVP of this game, Abare Ushioni. Really? I don't think it so. It worked twice in a row. I mean, that's cool. <laughs> but good game, Alec. Good game. Good game. I cannot believe I lost this one. 